Hello everyone, my name is Senor Computer Man here and I am playing Life is Strange Episode 4, Dark Room. Last we left off, we were just talking to Chloe's family. So, we left off with her mother, I do believe, so let's go on right back into it. Okay, we're still trying to get her little, uh, what was it, morphine pen or something like that. I can't really remember, but we're trying to help our friend so she doesn't die. I do believe. I don't know where they put it, though. Oh, wait. They, what is this? Oh, there it is. So I think now we can snoop around. Nothing here. All right. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Where is this gonna- where is this thing? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Do we really have to look through every single thing? Here it is. Oh, there we go. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Yeah, you used- you might. I hate that we can't just walk downstairs. They have to give you a whole freaking option just to go downstairs. Let's go a little bit faster here. Alright, let's deliver this morphine to our dear friend Chloe. Hey friend, here's your drugs. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> This is so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. I think it's funny how this is a whole different kind of high than they actually do. Well, her anyways. She actually used to, you know. You guys saw the other episodes. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Why haven't we met her parents? I, we always go to Chloe's house, but we've never gone to our own house. Oh, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. For you it was. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Can we? Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was knocked out. So, I know I'm just 
putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Oh. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. What? No, we- wait, hold up, hold up, wait, 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 wait. I know- okay. I personally, I believe in euthanasia, okay? I believe that that's acceptable, but in this case, in this case, this is our- I, I can't, I don't know. No. Ah! No, I'm going with I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Chloe. I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who w wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. No! No, no, I want no. To help you, Chloe, but I I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. No! No! Why are they doing this? Are you freaking kidding me? This is no fair! We can't kill our friend! But... We... She's a... No! Chloe... I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. Never! I'm going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Are you kidding me? Chloe. I am never leaving you again. I'm sorry, William. Oh, man. We're doing it again. Where's the focus? Give me the focus. Focus, 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 and... Come on. There we go! Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. There it is. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. And this time we can't do anything about it. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? 
Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving. That's all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Okay, so things gonna start changing now. Again. Yep, here we go, the pictures. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. We did it. Welcome back to the real world. Thank you all for Let's watching. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Okay, I'll do that next time. Thank you all for watching. And now you know what would have happened if we let William live. Chloe would have been in terrible pain and agony. But yeah, all I wonder is what would have happened if we would have euthanized her like she wanted us to. Oh well. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like and favorite this video. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.